Hey, this is Seth at Music Teachers Muse. Tune in Friday's PST at midnight for new episodes. See you there. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Today's topic is the practicing dilemma. How do you get your students to do it? And the answer is, I don't know. Because I've been trying for years and I have not stumbled upon a winning formula that actually gets them to practice. So let's dive into the ifs, ands, buts, whos, whats, and whys. And just how to tackle this, well, it is a dilemma because I haven't figured out how to solve it. If anybody has any helpful tips, whether you're a beginning music teacher or an experienced music teacher, please leave some comments below because we can all help each other out. Um, that's what we're supposed to do as a music community anyway. All the musicians should be helping each other. Not, we're all in competition, but you know, it is a, music is a collaborative thing. So first off, most of your students are not going to practice. Every kid has every excuse there is not to practice. And you will pretty quickly figure out that harping at them to do it is not going to do you any good. Because it just doesn't. You know, the more you, it's like, think of, you know, like in your own personal relationships, the more somebody gets on you about something you don't feel like doing, how often do you actually do it? Because it just irritates you. So if you harp at them too much, there's, it's going to make it worse. But trying to tell a kid of any age, but especially these days, the younger they are, the harder it is. Telling a, say, a 10-year-old that they need to practice for 10 minutes every other day, the, the phrase, kids have a weird concept of time. They can sit in front of their TV and play their video game for six hours straight and think nothing of it. But if you tell them to practice their instrument for 10 minutes, they think that's an eternity. And it literally, that's how they interpret it. But 10 minutes, what? And I mean, they're in their lesson for a half hour minimum and that just flies by. But they're always concerned with what time it is. That's a whole other thing. But bottom line, no matter how often you tell them to practice and for what increment of time, that's going to feel overwhelming to them initially. So just know to expect that. I still don't understand it. It's plain common English, but kids interpret things differently than we do because they're kids. So the next thing you need to do is, this is a question you're going to get asked all the time by parents. I just had a student sign up, they're starting next week, and the first thing the dad told me was he wants the kid to practice more. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. I have no idea how to get him to do that because I haven't come across a winning formula for it. But again, if the parent hounds them, it makes them want to practice less. It has to be something the kid wants to do. So there's not a way to get them to do that easily. But as long as they're motivated and they're into it and they're doing some regular playing, that's the most important part. So communicate to the parent that the consistency is the important thing because that's going to be the best thing for their playing, whether they're practicing diligently or not. It probably won't matter how much the kid practices. The parent is almost always going to think they need to be doing more of it. So that's difficult because almost everybody thinks you're supposed to practice every day. I mean, I'm a professional guitarist. I don't practice every day. So there's days I don't play at all. But when I do practice, I make sure it counts. And everybody's different. So some kids, they will practice every day. Few of them, but when they do, it's noticeable. Sometimes I recommend every other day. Sometimes it's every two days. But as long as they find a rhythm that works for them, then they're okay. It's just every kid's different. So one way you can combat this, or at least do your part to try to get them to, because again, there's no magic formula that makes them practice. You definitely want to praise them when they're doing well and encourage them to do so. Because 
once they see the value of practicing and the benefits of practicing regularly, they'll get into it more and they will be more excited about it. It took me about three months for a kid I've been teaching since earlier this year, and he's finally getting to where he's seeing some results because he's practicing at least every other day, and he's writing down his progress, and he's actually seeing the physical benefits of doing it regularly. You can't tell a kid anything enough times to where it registers and actually sinks in here because you might as well be talking to a brick wall most of the time. And it's not because they're unintelligent, it just you really have to drill it in there and then and I'm the same type most people are the same way in this particular instance seeing is believing so they're not going to believe anything you say until they actually see it happen for themselves I'm the same way people can say I guarantee it will happen I'm like okay so when can you tell me when date time year etc because until then sorry I don't believe you so it's going to be the same kind of thing what you can do to help yourself in that case is make them a practice schedule. So I've got this actually, I just did this the other day for a student who requested it. And this is what I recommend. Now it all depends on the age and ability level of the student. But I generally recommend, this is recommended practice schedule. And this was on Thursday. So I recommend they practice the day of their lesson and then do every other day so in the course of a week, they'll have practiced four days out of the week. That gives them a day in between, because as I had mentioned in previous episodes, kids are overbooked, they're stressed, they have more crap on their schedule than most adults do. And sometimes 15 minutes for them to practice their instrument is too much. As much as it drives me nuts to hear that, I understand it from that perspective. It's, it's not too much. There's 24 hours in a day, there's 168 hours in a week. And I really get sick of hearing that in a week's time they didn't have 15 minutes to pick up their damn guitar. But it is, it's a thing, so just be prepared for that. So they practice Thursday, the day of the lesson, because it's fresh in their head that way. Then they wait and practice on Saturday, review something from a previous lesson, then, then Monday, two days later, review from Thursday or whichever is most challenging, and then Wednesday, the day before the next lesson, review at least two songs and or including last lesson's material. That way, and this is just for one specific student, but this is the best way I've come across to at least give them a template to where they can start doing it regularly because telling them to do it does you jack shit. Doesn't work. You have to give them something they can physically see and even, and even when you give them the practice schedule that's filled out like this, Chances are they're still not going to practice. But you've alleviated yourself from any BS coming back on you because you've given it to them. The parent can't get on you for it because you've showed it to them. They, hey, this is what I recommend. Stick to this. They have to make it a habit before it's going to become a regular thing. If they don't do that, then they're not going to get in the habit of doing it, and there's no point. But this is just the only way I have come across to even get them started on some sort of regular practice regimen. And I always tell them, set a timer for 15 minutes or however long you're gonna practice so you keep it to that amount of time. Write everything down, good day, bad day, this needs work, this is improving, this day sucked, you know, whatever, just make it very specific. And then write out a new schedule on their last practicing day of the week so they continue the habit. And I put all this on this schedule that I just showed you here. That is, the only way that I have figured that at least gets them in the habit of doing so. And again, tell them to get a binder so that they can put all of their practicing in here and keep track of it. And flip through and have a record because if they don't write it down, they're going to forget what they're practicing and then they're going to be backtracking or stay in the same place. And even if you tell them, they're not going to move forward or get any better if they don't do regular practicing and keep a record of it so they don't have to backtrack and try to remember because they won't remember. I barely remember what I practiced last week. And, and I'm a pro. So that's just something you have to combat. And it's just part of this job. You have to repeat yourself all the time. You're going to get tired of it. But, you know, again, you're being paid for a job that's rewarding and they'll appreciate it. So 
just make sure you, you do that. Again, if there is anybody who has any tips on how to get their students to practice more, other than going to the extent of writing out the practice schedule, giving them the most specific and explicit tips you can, and praising them when you see the improvement and telling them that they, that they need to keep that up, um, those are some of the only ones that have worked for me and the only ones that I've seen results from. But if anybody else has anything else to add to that, please comment below. Um, sometime in the future of the channel, I'm gonna, we're going to have live Q&A and all that sort of thing where people can chime in and ask me questions about the job and, and uh, that sort of thing. So that is all for today. So again, let's recap. Most of your students won't practice. Just accept it. Harping at them doesn't work. You don't want to get on their ass too much, but the only time that I do that is when the student will start to complain or whine or get upset that they're not getting better or having trouble with something that they haven't worked on. That's where you have the right to say, look, dude, you know, if you don't work on this, it's not going to get any better. That's a, that's a lesson for life that kids need to learn anyway. That if they, they can't just wish something to magically happen or occur in their life that they want, they have to work at it. And if, when kids can click a button and have shit delivered to their house from Amazon, or they don't have to go to a record store to hear music to go to YouTube or type in the search or wherever they find their music at, then it's difficult to get them to understand that concept, even though it's reality. That's another whole rant of just, you know, people live in a fantasy world these days. They don't want to face reality, but... You know, with kids it's harder because you have to, they have to see it to believe it. So you just have to keep on them about it. But, um, you know, don't be too rigid, but just be realistic with them. And then write out a practice schedule for them. And make sure the parents see it. Make sure they have it tacked up somewhere or like on the refrigerator at home or someplace they have to look at it. And make sure that they get into the habit because that's the only way it's going to happen regularly is if they just get into the habit of doing so. So hopefully that, that helps and will get your students in at least the right direction to be on some sort of regular practice schedule. But to wrap this up, don't sweat it if they don't because nine times out of ten they're not going to. They're going to have every excuse in the book as to why they didn't. And as long as they're having fun and paying you, just let it slide off you because that's just kind of the way it goes. You're only going to have about 10% or less of your students who take it very seriously and, and practice with any degree of regularity. So thanks for tuning in and watching. Please hit the bell for new videos. Subscribe, like, share. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Check out our sponsors in the description below. And we will see you next week.